How to disassemble a Puffco Peak Pro atomizer chamber, brought to you by 3 grams. Thanks for that information, bud. Let's go. First step, take your chamber out and get that solder separated from the bottom of your chamber. After you've separated that bottom thermal sensor, you're gonna re-screw your atomizer into your Pro. Now that your thermal sensor is disconnected, you're gonna put your pry tool into your peak in between the metal ring and the ceramic ring. Nudge it over, jiggle it into the place where it's locked in, and then from there, just pull up. Boom. And like that, you have her disassembled. You can leave that on there. Take this out, unscrew it, and then from there, turn it upside down and it will fall out. From there, you're good, I guess. I mean, depending on what you wanna do, you can check out, see how damaged it is on the outside. We're gonna be doing more videos on this, going through all of the different issues that you might be having with a rebuild. Now, this was one of those shorter videos just going over the individual process of taking apart the atomizer chamber and being able to have access to all of your internals. We're gonna be going through other videos, thanks to 3Gram providing all the information for us to have in a way that's really nicely made and able to provide information to you. Beyond all that, if you haven't subscribed or liked this video, go ahead and do that. We're gonna be coming back with a lot more rebuild content Content. We're going to be doing more live stream rebuilds as well. If you want to go check that out, make sure you're subscribed to see the next live. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Stay elevated and peace out, Puffco. First things first, you're going to want to take your chamber out and. Oh, that ring didn't do it. Yeah. Do, 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 do.